What is up guys, today we will have a, a brief review of the newest update for macOS, it's macOS Tahoe 26, actually brand new, just released several days ago in September 2025, and I will make a review on the MacBook Air M3, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 212 of the built-in memory, so let's check it out, what's the difference and what they propose, as you see already, here are the widget on the desktop, that's already nice to have on, uh, as on your desktop such widgets, Let's check what is proposed. So actually we have the seven tips in macOS Tahoe What they offer to us. So what's new? Let's check it out uh, Firstly new design for macOS. So actually design with a liquid glass here Makes the iconic elements both fresh and familiar. Actually, yes, the design is really changed as you see it looks much better now and you can select many different things here. Let's open the settings. Let's open the appearance tab here so you see uh, you have the icon and widget style you can have a dark clear tint also you can select tint what kind of color you see here all the uh, icons are changing and you can put it on auto as well and uh, only chrome is not adopted yet but i think they will fix it later on you have the clear one again also changing everywhere auto you also can select the color if you like yellow you can select yellow let's assume like this as you see everything become yellow also you can choose any other color you can make the color picking here and select uh, any random color what you like i prefer default one with automatic color actually it works well and i really like it also you can change the themes here but it was available before this is very simple so i like multicolor also you can select like green color or any other up to preferences the modes available as well windows so the sidebar icons it's also you can be selected you see the new tumblers here so the switchers you can it's which not rounded anymore and working well. Also, you see there is some fade effect on the top, always uh, like transparent a bit. Uh, also, those are the minor changes. You see the search changed also. That's how it looks like. You can search an application, files, actions, clipboard, or just spotlight search. Also, so you see how it looks like the taskbar. Finally, we have the keyboard brightness here that can be selected. Also, the when you increase and decrease the sound, you can see how it looks like. Before it was in the middle, now it's on the top here. Also, same with display brightness. And actually, see even icon appear. What are you doing here now? Also, let's check what else control we have. So, all the others controls are very similar. Uh, actually, here's what's new. The control center is more flexible than ever. You can resize, rearrange item to customize and access what matter most. So actually, each item can be customized, can be bigger, smaller, and up to your preferences. So you can add to your remote control anything. You can add it like this, move it. Also, you see uh, in the future, I guess you'll have more third-party widgets here, but actually it's already a lot of them can be selected, can be changed, and it's looking well, looking nice, and you see also indicator changed. If you're changing here the brightness, you see it's getting like glass, like transparent, let's say, and moving more smoothly. Actually, that's the uh, biggest change. It's also apps is changed now. As you see, there is no... Uh, previous apps like it was before and now it looks like this uh, sorted by alphabet you don't have any folders that's actually i don't really like you can select the list here you can select the grid and you can search uh, all the time uh, so actually it's up to you what you like but here you have all this uh, additional buttons but command uh, one actually the search one Wi-Fi, not much changes. Okay, let's cover just briefly the settings. You see also settings are changed. Bluetooth here, not much changes. Network, uh, actually also battery, normal. You can always monitor it, optimize battery, nothing special. Options, optimize video display, sleeping on power adapter when the display is off. Okay, so actually it's all basic. Uh, again, redesigned a bit the settings. Um, in general, also not much changes in the settings. Menu bar here, 
also can be readjusted you see here a bit more options available but again in general you can add controls here but also you can do it there and apple intelligence let's see where there are the changes uh, we will check it out later desktop and dock again this design looks nice and it's everywhere the display itself automatic brightness true tone spotlight so i guess spotlight uh, also can be uh, readjusted a bit wallpaper so here's a new wallpaper from tahoe tahoe let's check this out uh, it's actually downloading and it's all dynamic one landscape so as you see landscape is really nice and beautiful here so you can lock your screen and or restart it let's lock it so that that's how it looks like you see also the uh, watches are changed here that's how it looks like as well looking nice i really like it and this crystal design especially when the background you see you can put the widget on this uh, top you can readjust it don't need this widget folder anymore from the side you can just change wallpaper here you can change the widgets here you can edit them and add the new one and they will become crystal when it's not in use and of course some new widgets also available but in general not much changes to this one so let's move on accept the design what else is offered give your folder distinctive look okay it's actually showing how you can customize your folder you can uh, change the color and you can change the icon let's check one by one for example i have the book here uh, also you can have the customized folder and actually you have many many uh, images here you can add more let's put like i don't know let's put the book this is called book so we have this things here book okay then you can change the color of folder let's keep it let's make it blue so it looks nice looks cool okay there are some many colors can be selected okay this is just a tag no need to do it or just choose one color i guess let's choose a blue color okay looks nice so that's also sort of changes it's actually quite convenient to have uh see life activities from your iphone okay so actually it's also quite nice i don't use iphone i have my samsung here but the macbook i like so i will not use this thing here but it's actually nice to have it especially like here is an example you're flying somewhere and you're using your laptop on a board so you can have the quick actions also some sport games ride share and other things can be uh, visible here in a taskbar use fo phone app on mac so it's also quite nice you can uh, easily access your phone apps you can have some call you can make the facetime call from your iphone actually you can do it also on your uh, macbook as well but actually from iphone many other apps can be used and you will always get like for incoming call for example notification you can answer and talk to it directly using your airpods put it a vote so actually now what you can do is make a vote in uh, iMessages actually also I don't use it that much but this option available now so you can do it you can make a vote you can change also the background it's working well uh, faster way to browse so you click command plus enter here so it appears a spotlight then you can use command one here for example application command two is files command three it's actually actions command four for is uh, clipboard and actually it's more convenient now to bright to open it so just command plus enter click simultaneous uh, plus space also you have return button here let's click on it what's going on what is doing this return button uh, it's open as then press the right arrow to choose where to search okay you can just choose like this the right arrow return is like a select here okay working well uh, take action directly from spotlight so actually you can complete many tasks just try it without even lifting your hand of the keyboard so actually you can just type a message here or whatever other task you need so let's check an example again you just open the spotlight then search for uh, let's say send message actually you can type here 
choose the recipients as well. You can plus it as well. Very convenient. So don't need to open even single app. You can do many things here. It become more smarter, let's say. And actually all the others like Apple Intelligent are the thing, just minor changes. Uh, and in general, uh, the main key feature of this macOS update is redesign. Some minor fixes, of course, available, but it's just some minor things, you know, that's actually will not uh, care a lot. Okay, here is a full list of changes. Actually, it's new design, customize the local folder, personal control center, communicate across languages with live translation seamlessly. So actually live translation also available uh, in uh, messages app, create incredibly powerful shortcuts. So just improve shortcuts and you can also include the Apple intelligence models here. New options for making Genmoji. Also, you can mix your favorite emoji together. More way to create a perfect image in Image Playground works well. You can access new chat GBT styles as well. Image Playground I showed in, in previous, uh, okay, here is still this Image Playground. So just for creating images, new image here. You can select what you want. It will create just an image you can describe. House in the forest. Okay, let's try house in the forest, let's generating. Actually working well, you can also generate many other images at some person there, for example, different to create an image. Okay, anyway, it's working well, house in the forest made and it was also a bit adjusted. All new phone apps, so as I mentioned before, phone apps appearing, focus your messages conversation, you can send some pools here and other filters, discover a new way to browse the spotlight show to you before, experience Apple Games app, okay. Actually, that's the changes, it's not really dramatically, but it's working well, the new design is really nice. And actually, if you will ask me whether it's worse to update, I can tell you definitely worse to update on, the, on your MacBook, on MacBook M3 is a must. I really enjoy the usage of the new design. What I don't like is the apps that's actually not as it was before, there is no folder, maybe in the future they will add some folders here and now it's just a, a bit a mess here. But in general, all the other things working well and I really recommend to update. In case you still have some question, leave it in the comments below, put the thumbs up and see you next time.